Hey guys, it's Maddie. I have some super exciting news and some bad news. The super exciting news is over 15 weeks ago, I told you I was getting a brand new reborn and it finally came. I'm so happy. The bad news is I got scammed. That's right, you hear it here. This is my reborn scam video. I can't believe I got scammed. I can't wait to tell you about what happened. Oh, oh, ah, ah. All right guys, here it is, my scam story. Leave me a comment down below if any of you guys have been scammed. I'd love to hear your story. And this video is not about trash talking a company. I'm just trying to share my story and experience that I've had. And as of right now, this is what it's left me at. So we've been scammed and um, what I'm trying to say is I don't want you guys to get scammed either because reborns are a lot of money. You'd at least hope you'd get what you have ordered. I mean, it's a big disappointment when you just get something and you're really looking forward to it and it's nothing like you want it. It's a big disappointment when that happens. So how this all started was 15 weeks ago, I ordered from Silicone Angel Babies on August 5th and that was the day we first ordered it. So I was hoping for this Raven doll and she is so cute in the picture and I want her so bad and it said that there's a wedding drink option So I'm like, okay, I want to try this wedding drink option. I want to see if it works This sounds pretty cool But then we found out for the Raven doll you couldn't actually have the wedding drink option But then we did find this Adeline doll and you had a choice to add on the wedding drink option so we got her and we asked them to make it look as close to Raven as possible. The body mold would still be the same, but we asked for the hair um, to look like Raven's, the eyes, kind of just the face, the body and skin coloring. And we did have to pay a little bit extra for Raven's hair, because as you can see, it is quite long and it's really thick. So they had an option that you could have thick hair. So we picked that option because we're like, that looks closest to Raven, so we're gonna try and get it as close as we can get, because that's the doll I really wanted, but we also wanted a wedding drink option, so that's what we went with the Adeline. All right, again, here is the picture of Adeline on what we ordered, and here's her face. I mean, her face looks really cute, and it's pretty close to the picture itself, and I wanna see Maybe that's better. And I think you guys can see the wedding drink in there. And I wasn't expecting it to be metal, like a little shoot down there. I was just expecting it for her mouth to be open and then it kind of just goes down that way. But I mean, it is what it is. It's not what I was expecting, but it's overall pretty good. And some of you guys might be thinking, but I don't really see a scam here. Now we're gonna compare the hair. You see that she's wearing a hat and this did not come with the set. I put this on and you'll see why. So we're gonna compare the hair to Raven's. All right, let's see. Okay, uh, it's quite creepy right now. I'm trying not to look. That's why I put the hat on. It's actually one of mine. I've had it for a little while, but it is so creepy. Like, and we asked, for even more hair that's thicker. This is not thicker. What happened? I can't. Okay, I need to put this hat back on. This is creeping me out. Oh my gosh, what happened there? That is a total scam. And one more thing, I don't know if that's the only part of their scam because to be honest, I haven't even tested the wedding drink yet. So if that's a scam, I don't even know what to say guys. So we're gonna be testing it today on camera with you guys and we're gonna see if the wedding drink actually works or if that is also part of the scam too. And it better not be because that would be so disappointing. That's where we're at right now, cause we haven't got a rerouted yet. So 
yeah, we're basically left like this. And I don't know what's going to happen. Like, we've paid so much money. We don't even know if the wedding drink system is going to work yet. I have an uncompleted Reborn doll. The scam story is not over yet. This is just where it's at right now. But I will keep you posted just in case they tell us any more info. All right, the next thing we're going to do is she actually did come with more accessories. So we're going to check those out. And I will take off her blanket because she has clothes underneath her blankie that I will show you. And they're super cute. And of course, we're going to test her wet drink system, hoping that it works. All right, let's take off her blanket. So here's the outfit, and one thing I'm kind of just thinking, okay, what happened here? So they literally left all the tags on. I'm like, okay, you could have at least took that off. I mean, you're not wasting a lot of time by taking off the tags. So let me try and get the sticker off. There we go, that's a little better. We still have the tag for where they got it at. I mean, eh, that's kind of weird, but I'm not so concerned about that. But the outfit is really cute. She's wearing a little owl sleeper and it has turtles and elephants on it. How cute is that? I think it's so adorbs. And then she's also wearing a onesie underneath and it has flowers on it. I think I'm going to take off her sleeper so we can see her full onesie. And we're gonna need it off anyways because we're gonna to have to test the wet and drink. So I'm just taking it off right now so I don't have to take off more. There's one hand and the other hand. So it's just a full flower onesie and I think it's actually pretty cute. Although I did notice that I actually do have the same onesie. I actually got it a little while ago, but that's okay. It doesn't hurt to have two of the same clothes. I mean, I do have a lot of newborns because that's what they need, you know, Ireland and Caitlin, because they are a little bit smaller. Let's continue on with her accessories. And she came with two bottles and these are so cute. And I will be using one of them to make her bottle. And these are actually really small, but they are super duper cute. She of course came with a birth certificate. It says Reborn Baby Adeline. I'm not gonna name her Adeline, but that's just the doll's name because I already have an Adeline. And then she weighs six pounds, zero ounces, and was born on the 30th of October. Then here comes the silly part. It says to carry. That's my mom's name. <laughs> that is not my name. That's kind of a silly mistake they made, but that's okay. I still find it pretty silly. The next thing is a hair bow. We unfortunately won't be able to test this out because she doesn't really have any hair. She came with two extra diapers and they have a little monkey on them. Hey, it's like our channel, Little Monkey Media. This one's so cute. We have two of the exact same diapers and these look pretty huge, so we'll have to see how they fit her. I might have to use one of my smaller ones, but they would work for Adeline maybe, and these would look probably pretty cute on Adeline. No way, they sent us a little book. Oh, it's so cute. We have a flower hair tie, and I'm gonna take this out of the packaging. This is pretty cute, although, again, this looks really big. So, I don't know, it is really cute. It just looks something that would probably fit me more. Hmm. Yeah, maybe not really so much, but this does look pretty big. Although I am thinking this could fit Julie. And again, it is adorbs. I love the jewels in the middle. 
we have another outfit and I do have this one again. So another outfit. So two of my babies can have matchies. Well, matching outfits. And then the last thing, oh, it's little giraffe slippers for her. These are so cute. I have to put these on. Look how cute they are and they're so fuzzy too. And that was all the accessories they sent us. And those were probably some of the cutest accessories ever. And I love these slippers. They're so adorbs. All right, now it's time to see if the wooden drink system works. All right, we gotta go to the kitchen and I'll need one of the bottles. And I also have a surprise for you guys in the kitchen. Let's go. All right guys, now let's make her bottle. I thought I'd make her some banana juice, so I have my template ready. And sorry if my fingers look like a little yellow when I was cutting this in. I kind of got a little bit of the marker on my fingers, but it's washable, so it's gonna be okay. Also, I did get new blenders and mixers, so I'm really happy, and I'm gonna use my mixer today, cause my old mixer didn't break, but my blender has broke two times and we have to get two replacements. This is our third, so hopefully this one does not break, but if it does, we actually have extra, so that's good. I'm not gonna do too much, cause her bottle, it's actually a little bit smaller, so I don't wanna have too much. I know a lot of you guys love these, and just in case you want to order one, we ordered these from Playthings on Amazon. All right, now we've got to press start. Whoa, this works so better. I'm just looking at it, and it is spinning so fast. I'm like, uh, okay, that's a little fast than I'm used to because I'm used to my slow one. That doesn't even work. All right, let's pour in the juice after I take out the paper. There we go. You know, I can probably just have the rest in. There we go. Hey, I actually kind of poured in just the right amount of water. That doesn't usually happen. All right, time to go feed it to her. I'm so excited to see if the wet and drink system works. This might be the best part of the doll. Okay, so I put a bib on her and I'm back with her bottle. And I just noticed that the nipple actually doesn't work. As you can see, nothing's coming out. You literally have to like squeeze it. But still, nothing's really coming out. So I grab one of my older nipples. I'm gonna change that one out because I can always cut off a little bit more for the top, but I'll do that some other time. I have older ones that I can use. And these ones should work, but I'll just double check to make sure. Oh yeah, that works. Time to give her her bottle and see if her drink and wet system works. Oh my gosh, I think it does, but I think what you have to do is you kind of have to just give a little bit at a time, otherwise that might happen. So it's kind of coming out of her mouth when I put it in. I'm trying to aim it there, but let me see if I tip her back a little more and that will hopefully maybe work and it'll just go straight in. It works a little better. Woo, it's coming all down my arm. She's not taking it good, so I thought maybe if I put her on the mat, it won't spill out as much. And also it won't get all over my arm and pants. Let's see if this works. Okay, the system doesn't really work that well. I mean, it's going to take forever 
Like, what am I supposed to do? Give her an eyedropper or something? Because that might be the only thing that works. Something small and narrow that you can probably fit in the hole. Well, I mean, I hope at least somewhat of it goes in the diaper. This isn't really fun at all. I don't like having to put small amounts in and trying to make sure I get everything in without it spilling. And they didn't even give instructions, like if you need to do something or whatnot. Well, of course they didn't. They scammed us. Well, after a little while, we should probably check her diaper. But I mean, we're not even halfway done the bottle. This is gonna take forever. It just drips out the back. Oh my gosh. Look at how much I fed her, barely any. It's not even close to half of the bottle. And I mean, it just feels very unnatural. And I need to show you guys this. So we have the bib. I'm glad I put it on, cause look at her back of her clothing. This is like soaked. That should not happen. Well, Let's take off her onesie and see if any of it got in. <sighs> this is really disappointing. I'm wondering if any's even in her because I fed her just a little bit, but like most of it is soaked on her back and dripping down everywhere. So I don't even know if it got anything into her diaper. Good news is I can show you her tummy plate now. And the really cool thing is her tummy plate allows her to twist. I find that really cool. Now let's see if her diaper's wet. I doubt it is. It doesn't even look like any water got in. Oh my gosh, I felt the diaper there is no wetness. Probably because all of it just leaked out onto her back. Yeah, the diaper's not even wet, and if we sit her up, nothing comes out on the mat. What in the world? Oh, her hat fell off. Yeah, it's like, feeling the diaper, it's not even down. There's not even a little bit of wetness. There is no wetness, like, whatsoever. I don't know, maybe I should go and get a Baby Alive bottle and see if I can squeeze it in there and hopefully that works a little better. Mm -hmm. Let me try that, because this is not working. All right, I got my Baby Alive bottle all ready and hopefully this one works a little bit better. And I need to put the hat back on because she's kind of wigging me out. There we go, much better. All right, now let's try. Whoa, this fits in her mouth perfectly. Maybe this will work. It's just spilling out too? What? Okay, maybe I need to try and tip her back way more. I don't see it leaking out. Hopefully this means it works. Cause if it does, I am gonna be pretty happy that it works and we only have to worry about getting the hair rerouted. Cause I mean, that would be horrible if it doesn't work. Fingers crossed. All right, well, let's sit her on the potty because I gave her quite a lot of this. Actually, maybe we can do just a little bit more. All right, I'm gonna bend her legs so I can immediately just put her on the toilet. Let's see. I don't really see anything coming out. Oh my gosh, guys. What? And I just noticed, cause I could see her back. It's literally leaking out down here, the little darker spot. That is all water that is leaking down. And it's 
Oh my gosh, it's like everywhere on the sides too. Like, what the heck? It's on both of the sides. What in the world? Like, I don't know, you can kind of see it there. It's kind of hard to tell. It's almost, it looks like it's supposed to work because this part looks like it's connected upwards to the head, which would lead to the mouthpiece. I don't know, like, why is it leaking out everywhere? That should not be happening, I don't think. That is not good. Okay, I'm gonna clean her up, cause maybe it was from before, I don't know. And then we'll try again, and hopefully it works. I need to sit her up, cause it's all on her back. Sides. That is hopefully a little bit better. Oh, there's some kind of on her leg. All right, fingers crossed this works. I mean, second time's the charm. Well, maybe what the problem is is she's laying down. Maybe she needs to be completely upright so it can get down to the system. Let's try that. So we'll put her on the potty. Oh gosh, I gotta clean her up a little bit because now it's leaking everywhere. All right, well, let's try that. And hopefully that will work. And this won't be the worst like reborn we've got. All right, I filled up the bottle and let's try this again. Let me just, I gotta really make sure it's in there so it gets down, otherwise it just leaks out. All right, that's pretty much all of it. Just, I don't think I can really get that much left out of it. That's gonna be pretty hard. All right, let's check the toilet. Oh my gosh! There's actually little drops of water in there. But she was sitting up, so it does look like she's going to the bathroom, but the only thing is, if I'm doing another video once we get her hair fixed, does that mean I'm literally gonna have to have her sit upright? That does not look very natural. I would say if I were to feed a baby, I'd kind of have it on an angle. And I wouldn't be able to do that without it leaking down her back and spilling everywhere. And then I would have to use the Baby Alive bottle. I mean, I can deal with that. That's not a huge deal, but again, still, it would just spill everywhere and her outfits would get soaked. And what's even worrying me more is, so there's a little bit of droplets and then there's some over here from when I placed her down the mat booth. That's because I was showing you guys that there was a little bit of water on the toilet, but does that mean, cause where's the rest of it? I fed her basically all of what we had from the last bit of the bottle. So does that mean it's like stuck inside her somewhere and it's just gonna get like bacteria in there and start to mold and rot? Okay, if she's gonna rot, I. How am I supposed to use her if she's just gonna keep rotting and collecting water? Oh, that is gross. And then, it just seems very unnatural to me. Cause I fed her a lot and very little is coming out. Maybe a drop comes out. It's like, you would think that it would kind of, you'd actually be able to see it. Cause the mechanism must not be working inside there. Where's all the water? Cause it's not coming out. That worries me. What is going to happen? Okay, here's some of my suggestions so that you hopefully don't get scammed. It doesn't mean you won't and it doesn't mean you will. But it's also just some tips to keep in mind. Number one, once you find a reborn from their online website or even eBay stores, you should always Google their name for bad or good reviews. If they have bad reviews, that may mean it could be a scam or they just don't have good reborns there. Number two, 
when buying from online or purchasing a Reborn, you want a website that's really open and it kind of just puts everything out there. Like, if you have any problems or concerns, contact us here. And finally, number three, make sure when you're ordering custom Reborns like this one, you make sure you see full pictures of what it's gonna look like once it's done and shipped. Okay, those are just some tips I have, so just keep those in mind so you hopefully don't get scammed like we did. There we go. Yeah, just during that time when I lifted her up by her head, I even felt water leak out. But here's how much came into the toilet. There's literally two drops. That is nothing. I have to use a baby alive bottle. Okay, they should be giving you a bottle that works. And they didn't even give instructions like I said before. So how am I supposed to know what to do? They didn't say tip up right, otherwise leaks down back. They didn't say anything. That really disappoints me. Overall, I'm disappointed. I totally feel like I've been scammed. So the hair is absolutely atrocious. She barely has any hair. The wedding ring system, I was at least thinking that was gonna work, but now it barely even does. And I mean, come on. How long is it going to take for that to come out? Or is it never going to come out at all? Like, I don't know. Or leak out the back of her again. I will have to see. Okay, I think I'm gonna end the video here. I'm just so sad. Guys, let me know if you've ever ordered from silicone angel babies and have got a great reborn or have got a really bad one and have got scammed just like me. This is a scam. This is not what I ordered. And if you have, leave me a comment down below and tell me the whole story because I would love to know. Okay guys, I'll keep you posted on how this scam ends because right now we're still in the middle of the scam. We haven't even got our finished reborn. Like, I don't know what is going to happen. So I will keep you posted on that guys. Bye, see you next time. The end. Thanks for watching. To join all the fun up in our treetop, please subscribe to Little Monkey Media's channel. Don't forget, if you like our video, please share it and click like. We go bananas!